Hey there, change makers. Welcome back. Today's pick a card reading is going to be what gift spirit wants you to use in your life purpose. So there are three piles here. Pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. So just take a moment to connect with your breath, focus on your internal realm, and tap into your intuition and ask yourself, which is the right pile for you? Again, this is pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. If you need more time, go ahead and pause the video and we are going to jump in to pile number one. Okay, pile number one. So, um, the first thing that strikes me about your reading is there are a lot of sparkles. We've got sparkles in the sun, we've got sparkles in Our Lady of Guadalupe, we've got stars over here in the Empress, we've got this yellow sparkles next to justice. So that to me says that your soul is really, you have a really sparkly soul. You've got sparkles over in the Ace of Pentacles. You have um, this innate joy and this innate spark that you are bringing to the table. And this spark, this soul essence, the sun is in like the very center. This is like your soul. Like your soul is in the very center and the heart of this reading. And it is radiating out. And actually, this is really cool because you have this soul in the center of the whole reading. And then you have these two messages that are very much about having a lack mindset, being in poverty, being in um, scarcity, and there being this desire to reach for something more or something greater. And what this is telling me is that you have had to tap into the deepest parts of you to overcome and to transform this story that you have been born into this life that you've been born into where you have had to overcome a lot of adversity and it really to me seems like it's a lot of adversity with um, finances and money and realizing your dreams and making things happen and you very well may still be in the process of this because this is the gift you are bringing to the world that spirit wants you to use spirit wants you to focus so fully on your soul, so fully on your higher self, so fully on the essential essence of who you are that transforms everything in your life. And you have, you have a sparkle factor, which is really cool, which tells me that you are light and bubbly and fun and you have a lot of laughter and you have this ability to be in these difficult places and to never let it touch your happiness. Maybe like never, you know, not never, never, but you don't let it touch your ability to experience happiness. The other thing that really stands out is that you have two pregnant, um, characters here, these two pregnant women. And that to me says that you have been full of ideas, that you are a person that is creative, and that again, this is this overcoming the challenge of bringing these creations into reality, into this 3D form. You also have a lot of feminine energy going on here. So we have the full moon in Virgo. We have these like beautiful flowy women. We have the Empress card. She's beautiful and flowy and long hair. The Virgo card. The Isaiah Angel card. Like there is this ele element that no matter if you have $10,000 in your bank account or you have $100 in your bank account, you're, you're always this sort of like rich, like Taurus energy, right? Like you, you always have this Venusian energy about you. You will make anything luxurious, whether you have a lot or a little, you're just really good at it. The other really key thing in your reading here with, with your gift is that you are a protector. 
you have your soul essence is a protector soul essence. And what I mean by that is you probably came into this life with a very badass spiritual team. Like you came in with some heavy hitters at your back that are protecting you and taking care of you. You are um, yourself a very protective being. Like you have a natural... Have you ever just been around those people where it's like, it doesn't matter what cir circumstance they've been in, somehow they're always okay. Like it's just wild. Like they're just always like sort of permanently okay. They could talk with really rough people, no problem. They could be in really dangerous situations and somehow they just like walk out unscathed. You're that person. And you, wherever you go, you are bringing that. And you have that because you're, you have been tasked to go into some of the darker areas of our world and to bring this light. You have been going into areas where people are either in a space, in a more darker space emotionally, mentally, maybe materially, and you are literally carrying the light. You carry the solutions of justice, of transformation, of really even changing the culture and society at a very, um, I want to say base or structural foundation. There's a lot of unspoken cultural contracts that we have and you are there <laughs> literally breaking them apart with the fireworks of your soul. It's really cool. You're, you're a really, really, really cool soul. And, um, over here, believe in the impossible. So this is again, this like protecting space. You have the justice, believing the impossible, and then the Empress of protection. Now I asked spirit, uh, you know, what divine feminine is protecting you and guiding you and helping you navigate. And this was, let's see if I can get my camera to just, it's her. So check this out. This is this is how you are. Like she is a reflection of you. So not only are you this sort of naturally beautiful being, being surrounded by roses, but look at the sparkle factor. Holy cremoli. When you are in a line, aligned with your soul, when you feel like a clear channel of the divine, you are sparkly and you're protective and your energy is just radiating out. And she's really, really reflecting that in here. So this is a good card to just sit and meditate with and contemplate on and see her as your divine protector. See her as walking with you through life. She's very heart-centered. She's very focused. She looks determined to me and she's doing it in <laughs> like a really beautiful, I want to say like beautifully aggressive way, like in a good way. Sometimes we need, um, sometimes we need to be a little more aggressive. Sometimes we need to be a little more like staying on top of things and pushing people gently but firmly past, you know, boundaries that, that they need to grow through. Sometimes we need to challenge people's belief systems and to help them have perspective shifts by the way that we bring our perception to the world. So she is super cool and you, this is you, this is your guardian and this is a reflection of how you are in the world, in your soul essence, which is really, really cool. Um, the other thing that I think is key to this story here is that this is the full moon of Virgo that says you are enough. And that really, to me, radiates back to this sun card. You are a transformer of humans. That is your specialty. That is your gift. What you do is you bring your sun, you bring your sparkle factor, and you bring this story that you are good enough and to each person that they are good enough and that they can believe in the impossible. And you protect this narrative for them. You protect this vision for them so that the people that are struggling in poverty, the people that are struggling with somehow on this material world, to find their vision, to live out their vision, to reach for the things that they really want to reach for. 
you you are this protector of this justice of saying every single person like they exist therefore they are loved you exist you are loved you exist you deserve to have housing and food and um, a healthy planet to live on and education and freedom from the stress of debt and you deserve to work in jobs where you feel respected or you deserve to be a business owner where you know you have the chance to make a positive impact on the world like that's the story you bring to people and that you boost in people and I think that that is really like the summation like I want you to walk away knowing that this that this is your divine gift you bring the sparkle back in life the awe the fun the joy you bring transformation to the dark places in the funnest and most bright way possible. You have a great time at this, so the more that you tap into the beauty of that, the protection of that, the fun you can have in these spaces, the honoring of the people in these spaces, um, that is really what Spirit's asking you to, to bring as your soul gift to the planet. And just remember, you are a transformation you transform people's lives. That's what you do. That's what you bring because this is your soul. That is who is showing up to the table, my friend. And that is beautiful. I am so excited for you. Let me know in the comments if that resonated with you. This is it for your pile number one. If you like this reading, please like, subscribe, share, and leave me comments below about your journey and uh, what you do in the world and how you apply this beautiful sun's sparkly energy. And until next time, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed All right, pile number two. So when I looked at your pile, I guess like, it, and this hasn't happened to me yet during a reading, but the first thing that sort of popped out was marketing. What I see a lot in what's going on here is this really strong mental energy and inspiration. So a lot of these cards are about planning and strategizing. You are either like, you're like really good at looking at the problems and then coming up with big solutions. You, like this is really your kind of energy. You are looking at the whole plan. So maybe you're an executive, you're an entrepreneur, you are, um, you're the kind of person that is going to be at the table making the big decisions in life, making the big decisions about the direction of a company, the direction of a movement, how to strategize with that. I, the, I think the marketing thing came up because it's just like you understand human nature. Like if you look at this wands here, you understand what people's problems are deeply, right? Like the person is looking in the mirror, and here you are on the background, like handling this person's problems, handling their issues, putting some beautiful um, <laughs> wand energy, right? You're like doing a spell, but like in a good way, in a healthy way, a positive way, hopefully. Over here, what is really interesting about this part, so I will also just say, you have six tarot cards. I tried really hard just to do five and literally, um, yeah, that wouldn't allow me to do that. It kept popping out an extra card. So I think it's really interesting that the story that had to be told for you, that Spirit wanted to share with you today about what your gifts are, <coughs> includes having three swords. So that tells me you have really strong mental energy. They're all crowns as well. Like one, two, three, you have three crowns. You have, and they all have big hulky swords. Like even though the queen is in reverse, which is a lot of sort of um, more of a kind of a cutthroat negative attitude at the same time, 
she's still crowned. She still has a sword. She still has a throne. And that's really what I see reflected in here, which tells me that you are the boss. You are the strategist. You are, if you're a consultant, the people are coming to you with their problems and you are providing them with solutions because you're the kind of person that can look at a whole puzzle piece. You, you can look at what needs to get done and then you can say, here is the practical applications of what needs to get. Here is step A, step B, step C, step, step D, and you're really, really good. And that's just reflected through everything. So in your Moonology cards, you have it's time to take action, new moon in Aries, so like the beginning of a project, and then a full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. This is what you do. You take things from a glimmer of light where people want to take action, they want to do something, and you bring it into here's how it actually happens. You bring it into its fullness. Your angel card is Adriana. I am leading you towards the answers to your prayers. Please listen to and follow my steps. I'm communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. So I think that you are very in touch with your intuition and you're one of those special people that's like neither overly um, mental or overly emotional. Like you have found or in the process of finding that really important balance where you can look at the whole picture but the picture is also speaking to you through your intuition and also showing you and guiding you in the way. I also feel like your angel team is, um, you have like one very specialized angel who is here to help you problem solve the issues of the planet, the kind of things people bring to you in order to create a better future. And then your goddess of protection, the one that is protecting and guiding you and teaching you about things, you have the goddess of the light. So she's all about having this mirror energy. And that's what you're bringing, right? People come to you with their problems. People come, maybe, maybe you're a business coach, maybe you're a life coach, maybe you are, um, you're some kind of strategist. You're a marketing strategist, you're a CEO, you are, you're doing something that requires you to strategize and in that, what you do is you take their dreams and you are able to effectively reflect that into a plan of action. So when people come to you with a lack of clarity, you understand enough about the world, your mind is very talented with making practical plans, that you can take that inspiration and give them a pathway, which is super cool, super, super cool. So that is your goddess. I think out of all of this, you are just a very grounded, headstrong kind of person. And you've had to be a headstrong kind of person to make it through life to the point where you're at. And it's given you tenacity and vision and a kind of practicality that we need. I, I, as somebody that is more on the emotional, spiritual, touchy-feely side, like I really, really appreciate practical people, <laughs> especially if they can help me make my dreams into grounded reality. Um, and that's what you're really good at. You're really good at long-term planning, at seeing the bigger picture. And again, just, man, this is such a gift to take somebody's ethereal idea, their their dreams, their hopes of what is out here, and you just know how to make it reality. You see it, you see okay. They wanna go there, here's step A, step B, step C, step, step D, all the way through, and if they follow those actions, they will most certainly get the outcome that they were hoping for. So, amazing, we need people like you. So happy to have you around. Um, and this is all I'm seeing for you, pile number two. If you feel like you connected with that, please leave me a comment below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with somebody that you love and care about that you think it would help. And until next time, 
you amazing change maker with such a really cool gift that Spirit wants you to use for your life purpose. Um, until next time, I hope you use this and that you have a beautiful and blessed day. Okay, pile number three. So when I was looking at this, you know, we see a lot of your tarot cards are actually in the reverse position. And I was really just tapping into the energy of that. So here we have the magician. And I think that this really centers around you. Like this is who you are. This is your talent, your gifts, your abilities. You are really good at manifesting things. You are really good at transforming things. The thing that spirit wants you to know about the gift that spirit wants you to use in your life purpose is you have this gift of being the magician to transform the deeper things. Like when I look at this, to me, it's like you're almost like in people's subconscious minds, helping them transform. You're like a hypnotherapist or a therapist or a healer or someone that, that is comfortable and good going into the subconscious and dealing with different issues. Um, whether that is helping someone get over there. It, like a lot of these are just like limiting beliefs. So that's what you're good at doing. You're, you're good at getting over your own limiting beliefs and you're good at helping other people understand and transform their limiting beliefs. Now down here we have a win-win outcome is, for, is forecast and then adjustments are required. And again, this tells me that like your specialty is unblocking people in the subconscious or in the deeper parts of themselves. If you're like an energy healer, then you're going into sort of the deeper recesses of their being and helping them transform those spaces. You know, you are the person that people come to to get adjustments. They need to attune to something, they need to adjust to something, they need, they need to let it go. And one of the ways that you do that is through the divine. So you could also be a spiritual teacher or a um, some kind of spiritual leader in your life. We have Parvati, oh my goodness, the goddess of devotion. And this angel card is Vanessa. To make your decisions, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? Which way takes me away from it? And then we have Parvati, the goddess of devotion. I am a love that doesn't leave. When I commit to love, my soul evolves. So again, this is leading back to this evolution. One thing that also sort of strikes me about this reading is that we have this triangle of women that are all like dark haired, they have dark eyes. This um, to me just says that there's maybe these are um, physical traits that you have or maybe your internal world has these kind of physical traits about them or this look about them but that also leads me to believing that like you're like a channel or the embodiment of the kind of goddess energy that is this unconditional love that will go to any space that will go to any space in you and you are guiding people through that process by helping them sort of choose the path that they're going on. Because a lot of this stuff is, again, like we have sort of these, well, I mean, obviously the monology cards, they're going to be moon cards, but we have the moon. There's a lot of this stuff that's very internal. It's reflective. It's deep. You're a deep person. You're a deep thinker. And, and that depth to you is the actual thing that is your gift. That ability to go deep, to see deep, to be comfortable in those spaces and to know how to really navigate and work with the subconscious mind, to work with the parts of people that maybe don't always seem so apparent. You know, like you're the kind of person that's gonna be able to read in between the lines. You're the kind of person, and you do so with love. Like, I will just say that too. Like, you're not in, you're not up in people's business judging them. You're in there saying like, okay, you said that you wanted to be X, Y, Z person. 
I see into you. I, I can hear into you. I can feel into you. Like I hear that, see that, and feel that, and I'm doing it from, from this goddess, which is your goddess that is guiding you and teaching you and protecting you. This is, this is what the base level energy soul gift you're bringing to the table. You're going deep into people and their subconscious and seeing, you know, their limiting beliefs and the ugly parts of themselves. And you're saying, let's bathe that in love. Okay, I see you. I see your inner child is really scared. I see, you know, this past childhood wounding. I see the negative events of your life that have etched themselves in your psyche. And I'm holding that in a space of love. And that, that space allows the person themselves to heal. That allows them that moment to be in touch with themselves and to actually heal. So your um, compassion, your love, your devotion, your devotion to the divine gives you so much strength in these moments. Your understanding of the mystical side of life, um, your understanding of psychology, the subconscious, like I said, like the way that you understand how humans work at a deeper level is the gift you bring because you bring it with love, you bring it with compassion, and you're there not to judge people. You're there to help say, hey, you said you wanted this. This is what, what choice are you going to make in this moment now? It's almost like you're like, you know how angels will do that? Like the angelic community doesn't, push you to being in one direction or another it's like here are your paths which path would you like to go on and that the non-judgment of that itself is so so healing for people to regain their confidence and autonomy and and their ability to understand that they have the power themselves to change themselves, to make a difference, and to heal themselves. So I think that's really a huge, huge gift that you give. Amazing. This is a really, really beautiful, I love deep people, and um, you're probably so fascinating to talk to. So if this resonated with you, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Pile three, this is what I see for you. If you like this reading, please like, click the like button, click this, you know, subscribe and share it with somebody that you love and go out there and keep doing your deep beautiful work in the world with people in the way that you do i'd love to hear how this actually plays out for you in your day-to-day -day life and until next time i hope you have a beautiful and blessed day